Hello my little butterflies, and this video is going to be my January wrap up and my February TBR. So you guys, for the month of January, I wanted to read um, four books plus the book out of my TBR drawer, so that would be five books. But I only read three books, but which I still think is pretty good, actually, than what I had been reading the past two months. So I feel like I'm getting back on track. And the first book that I, I started it, I started listening to it in December, and I finished listening to it on audiobook in January, and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And it was so amazing and just spectacular. It was, it's my first classical book that I've ever listened to, read, whatever you want to call it. And I think um, I think with classical books for me, it's probably going to be better for me to listen to them than try to sit down and read them. I don't know. Um, that was my first classical book, and I just I really enjoyed listening to it. Um, the narrator, her voice was just so amazing. I loved her, her Brit British accent. Um, it was just wonderful and amazing. And oh my god, um, I didn't do a video for um, my review, but I did write the review on Goodreads. So I did do a review. I just didn't record it. And I think I gave it a four point five out of five stars. But you know, on Goodreads, you can't half star rate a book so I gave it four on Goodreads but in my mind it's a four and a half that half of that half of a star is missing is I don't know why I just I feel like it wasn't I just I don't feel like it, it's five stars it's an amazing book but it's just something it was missing from it and it's just I can't I'm having one of those moments with that book the second book that I plan reading in January and I also started reading it in December and finally finished in January is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush and it was amazing I, I just I really enjoyed reading this book and I can't wait to buy the second book so I can read the second book um I think it's supposed to be a trilogy so I definitely cannot wait to jump right back into this world because like I said in one of my previous videos I love this world so much and you don't get to say that about too many young adult fantasy books that you would live in that world because usually the world is so messed up and it's not that this world is perfect oh trust me this world is kind of messed up too but it's just I don't know something it just drew me into it it just seemed like just such a colorful beautiful world and I would definitely live in it I would totally hands down and um I think I gave this book a five out of five I think I did I think I gave it a five out of five stars I also did not do a video review on this book but I did write it for Goodreads but I do plan on doing a video review for this book um, along with my next book that I just recently finished which is Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gare and this book was amazing I literally finished it February 2nd at 2 o'clock in the morning or like one one o'clock around two o'clock in the morning I finished this book and it was just oh my god the end just killed me and I just I, I don't know oh my god I, this is supposed to be a trilogy to the silver trilogy and I can't wait to see when the second book is coming out because this just left you off on a perfect cliffhanger and I'm not even going to get too much into it but I did give this a 4.95 stars so it's missing a 0 .05 star and that is a high rating in itself and I have my reasons why I just took off a 0 .05 star but this was amazing like I really love this book and when I first started I didn't think it was going to be something that I was going to be like oh my like I'm doing right now because I started off kind of slow but when stuff started taking off and happening I was just um I, it's, I can't wait to do my review I would just have to tell you guys in my review because if I don't this will turn into a review video and I don't want it to turn into a review video but this was a really amazing book and even though I finished it February 2nd I still count it as me finishing it in January because basically I really was done already so 
I cheated, but whatever. And if you watched my January TBR, you guys would know that I was supposed to read Echo. And I was supposed to read Echo, Illuminate, and Cinder. And I didn't get to any of those books. And I should have started Echo right away, but instead, and I am going into my February TBR right now, I really, really, really wanted to start this book since it is February and if you guys have watched my videos you know what is coming up February 9th and that is the release of Glass Sword by Victoria Aviard and so since I bought this wonderful book in January when it came out I figured it is appropriate to start reading it now because Glass Sword is about to come out and that is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aviard which I have not technically started reading it I just put my bookmark in it because this is the bookmark that I'm going to read with and it's a really fun bookmark it says think like a proton and stay positive so I just I figured I'm just going to start this book and I'm pretty and it's really only 194 164 something like that pages and I know I could finish this in one day so I'm definitely after I'm done with this video I'm just going to go read it and knock it out the way so tomorrow I can just start on another book of my TBR for February and I can be just well prepared for Glass Sword to come out and I'm just like amazed right now because February 9 has came so quickly but it's so agonizing having to wait for Glass Sword because Red Queen is my like kryptonite right now and I have never been like this over a book since Twilight. I have never gone this crazy over a book since Twilight so these are amazing books and I just love Victoria ADR and I know the trilogy is not over yet. Red Queen is supposed to be a trilogy but after the Red Queen is over with I definitely cannot wait to read more from her in a different setting of a different world because to me that really shows you if you're really going to love an author or not just because this one trilogy was amazing I want to see what her other writing is like and that would be mind blowing to me like she's climbing the charts to my favorite authors right now and I'm just I'm fangirling it's ridiculous the second book that I plan on reading in February, which I have been saying for the last two months since December that I was going to read this book, and it is Echo by Pam Minos Ryan, and I know I can get to this book this month, I just know it because, like I said, with Cruel Crown, that is going to be done within less than 24 hours, so I know I will have a lot of time, even though February is a short month. I know I would have time to get to this and I just can't wait to jump to it and so I could just finally say I finished it after these months saying I'm going to read it I at least need to start on it and it is a chunky book but the words are really huge so yeah this is a, going to be a quick read if I can ever get to it and the last book I want to read this month before I pick out of my TBR jar and it is a bind up. It's actually all three books, but it's in one. And that is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. And I've had this for a couple of months now. But I just was saving it specifically for February because, you know, of Valentine's Day and stuff. And I figured this would be a wonderful contemporary story to read in February, being that it's Valentine's Day. So these are three books so that would be amazing so right now my tbr pile is five books all together and hopefully i can give a good report back at the end of the month and see i read all the books that i wanted to read for my tbr um i this was um uh, really hyped about on book two and i don't think it's really hyped about right now because it's kind of like out of the season four but i bet wrong summertime it'll be right back into it but that's how i heard about this book to begin with and then when i found all three of them together and i thought like, i only paid nine dollars for this buying up of all three books so i think that's an amazing deal and i definitely got it and I cannot wait to read it and to see what the hype's been all about because like I said, um, this genre is probably not my number one genre because too much squishiness will get me out of the mood of reading. I really like stuff that's high strung and keeps your heart beating really fast. And But you know, I will read a couple of these. It's, it's no problem. Like I, I don't have an issue with them, but I can't read a whole month of just contemporary 
you know but this will be wonderful and I, I like a good love story so maybe oh guys I forgot about one other book that's on my TBR and it is an audible book and it is called Dead House by Dawn Kirch um Kirch Kirchigen Kirchich I don't know but it's Dead House by Dawn and I have not I, I have not started reading it exactly and I don't expect to finish reading it um this month but I do plan on starting because it does take me a little longer to get through an audio audio book than me actually reading it because I have to wait for the narrator to actually read I can't fast forward it I miss stuff so I have to kind of go at their pace so, and it's, I think this is only an 11 hour book, but I'm not going to actually sit here and listen it for this 11 hours out of the day. I don't think no person does. I might listen to an hour like every day and I might, and if I go at that pace, I might be able to get through it. This month, I think Jane Eyre was 18 hours and it took me over a month to finish it. So, we'll see. Now, it is time for me to pick my TBR challenge out of my drawer. And this is something that I said last month that this is something as a reading goal and as a video goal I wanted to do. Um, I don't necessarily have the name of books in here, but I do have a challenge for me every month. Some kind of something to do with the book for me to pick an extra book to add to my TBR um, pile. Just to challenge me to read an extra book out of there. And it's something I'm not really looking at my bookshelves to be like, ooh, I don't know what else I would like to read. It's just something extra to throw in there. Kind of like a curveball to challenge my reading expectations. So I'm going to pick from the jar, but I have no idea what song I'm going to sing while I pick from the jar. I was thinking about this last night and... I have nothing. <laughs> My challenge is read from a genre you don't usually read from. That works perfectly with my TBR for this month. Actually, like I said, contemporary is not really a book that I really jump and go crazy for her because usually contemporary doesn't really keep your heart pounding and have you like oh she crazy um so I think that is wonderful even though I said I didn't want to throw in an extra book instead of just going with the TBR that worked perfectly okay so I'm just going to stick with that because technically this is three books so I can just push myself to hopefully just get past more than just the first book so you guys, that is my wrap up for January and my TBR for February and I'm going to try to hold them up but not all in one hand. So I don't know how this double handed hold up is going to go because I'm not that good with a one handed hold up. So I guess we'll see. Okay you guys, so I feel so awkward holding it like this, like they're going to drop any moment. But Thank you guys for watching my videos and I hope you guys come back and see me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So see you guys there. Bye.